Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's off meta video, I'm going to show you an interesting combo that combines both Arc Souls and Threadlings into one to create a Threadling Arc Soul. Well, it's not quite as you think. It's not actually going to be a Threadling turn into an Arc Soul, but more allowing you to have the two on hand when you use your Arc subclass as well. It's simply by applying Swarmers with Quicksilver Storm and using our Seasonal Mods to help out, we can get Threadlings without the need of Strand subclass. This can be used with any subclass you like, so you are not limited here. I'm just going to show you a fun version that excels well in combat. To start, you're going to want to have Arc Soul, where casting your Rift will grant you and allies an Arc Soul, while amplified your Arc Souls by faster. And then you want Electric Stat in mind, where defeating a target with Arc abilities, or defeating a dual target to create Arc Traces. Collecting Traces makes you amplified. The Arc Souls, along with Ionic Tracer's effects, will allow us to have a supercharged Arc Soul at all times, which is great against the minor to major threats. This, in many ways, will help with allowing us to get faster tangles for your primary, as it will take less time for us to build up our grenade launcher rounds to cause a tangle to be created. A simple things like this make Arc Souls a lot more worthwhile in the long run. For the fragments, a spark of resistance, where while surrounded, you are more resistant to incoming damage by 40%. Spark of Magnitude, where your lingering grenades have an extended duration. Spark of Ions, where defeating a jolt target creates an ion trace. And Spark of Shock, where your arc grenades jolt targets. Because of the freedom to build, you can pick whatever fragments best to you, whether you use an arc weapon, or want to focus more on ability usage. For me, having a higher and faster ability usage will allow us to take out the tougher combatants when we need it most, or when we need to quickly get our wrist back fast. Spark of Ions, Magnitude and Shock will further enhance our stats with their extra benefits provided, and with how strong drawn targets are, you can use this along with Threadlings to sow utter chaos. Although Threadlings do feel weak, something like Jolt will help boost the damage that a Threadling can do with its damage over time effect, and then we also have the Unravel effect with further damage on top of what we currently have. For the mods and stats section, both Discipline and Recovery will play a big part within the build itself. But do remember, a lot of things shown can be easily achieved via the focus mods and just using your arc subclasses for our net traces effects. At tier 7 to 9 for discipline, we will be able to produce an arc grenade at a very fast rate without the need of fund of focus or demolitions park to help. This will vary on the armor slots you have, so if you want to be safe, then I would advise a tier 7 stat with fund of focus added so you can get a tier 10 stat easily. For me, I went without as we can get our traces easily that backfill what is lost. Also, Grenade Kickstart and Bomber are a great combo that costs little to spec into, and works out really well at the current stat level we are on. After you have decided what is best for the discipline stat, your recovery can be at tier 7 to 8, as our Arc Soul Fragments will allow us to get back Rift Energy fast while allies are nearby us. Along with Distribution and our Traces, we also have the Boss Swing Detonation mod that will give us about 20% class ability energy on grenade damage, which is great for how strong a Pulse Grenade is. You can go higher and aim for a tier 10 if you can, but I found that you really don't need to go the extra mile just to achieve a faster rift speed, as you currently have a well placed mod and buff system in place. For the armor charge to retain the following system we have in play, charged up times 2 allows to hold on to more armor charges as we play and collect them, and have any harmonic or strand cipher mod for creating all the power via our weapons and firepower mod for creating all via charge grenade kills. I would also advise you to add the Strand Weapon Surge mod times 2 to enhance your Strand Weapon by 17%, with time dilation for an extra 5 seconds on top of our time based mods. And lastly, the Reaper mod will help you get an extra orb of power while using all rifts, and the Essence as its mod will help you get super energy back fast so we can use and abuse as much as we like. Now, lastly, the weapons being used will need to be Quicksilver Storm with its catalyst unlocked, or else you can't do the following. With a catalyst, every time we use our grenade launcher and get a kill with it, we can create a tangle without the use of strand subclass. This here is how the build will work when combined with swarmers, as I've noticed that you cannot create tangles outside of your selected subclass unless it's strand. The catalyst isn't hard to complete, and the weapon as a whole is really good and strong to use in a lot of the content provided. Also, remember that the weapon has received a exotic buff to enhance its damage against red bar enemies. This, along with an Arc Jordan effect, makes the weapon an absolute killer in the higher difficulties. Heavy-wise, the Circular Logic with Envious Assassin and Hatcheting is the go-to power comp to have when using the following build. The ability to overload the weapon will allow us to longer use a machine gun against wasted combatants, or even a boss depending on the situation at hand. 
hatching, of course, is giving you an extra bit of damage on top of what we have. And this hatching, although not super strong, can work hand in hand when we are running and gunning with Arc Souls. I would recommend you try and get the following combo, or even get a version with just the hatching on its own, as this will make the build feel complete. For the conclusion of the setup, we have an interesting combo that is flexible in nature and can be used along with other subclasses if the user so called desires to. The Threadlings with Stasis and Void is possible as they can offer a similar design angle as to what we are achieving, while Solo is more hit and miss. With Arc, we have achieved a combo that complements the idea of what would happen if Arc Souls and Threadlings came together as one. Although it's not a true singular object as I wished, the ability to create an Arc Soul along with Threadlings at the same time creates a fun experimentation that Destiny can offer to the players if they try. Utilizing Quicksilver Storm Grenade Launcher form to create a tangle, we can use our Swarm of Boots to not only create an extra two Threadlings on demand, but also unbattled targets as well, which will bring further damage along with Arc Soul's damage and dual effects. These two in hand can create absolute chaos when triggered in a large battle arena with waves upon waves of enemies. And if we are lucky and have the Untangler Seize the Mod, which suspend targets damaged by tangles, and the Allied Unraveling Founds, which allows us to unravel targets via our strand weapon, it can do a lot more damage outside of what we currently do as of now. Is this good for endgame content? Sort of. It can work here and there and work in master content. However, GM content wise, I can't see the build being that effective when using Threadlings along with the build. Because the Threadlings need the Feather Evolution Fragment to enhance the damage for Grandmaster content, they won't be as effective compared to using them in Legend to Master Tier content. This is more because of Bungie's decision with making them highly reliable on a singular fragment to make them viable in some way or form, which sadly means Threadlings don't have much space to freely be used unless you are aware of the cons to them. The build for me is enjoyable because of the flexibility it provides, but also because I like to see what experiments can be done when using different elements that shouldn't really work. Nonetheless, a fun combo you can use for battlegrounds or weekly missions if you like to mix things up. But what do you think of the build? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, I hope to see you again soon.